Hello everyone, this is Stuff. You're watching Stuff HD. And today I wanted to make a quick video, which is what I always say, uh, about about this little guy. This, uh, I, I, I wish I could give you a name, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. All right, so where was I? <laughs> they, this little thing is the little recorder that I have purchased to, to record my videos. Um, here's a, the, the box that it came in. Uh, it says HD Video Capture Box Ultimate. Um, uh, it, it has has an let's see if we can get this to look okay here has an HDMI input and HDMI output or the other way input output uh, it has the connection for for AV cables so there's a like a three and a half millimeter jack but it's for for AV in um, you can put it has an internal battery 3000 milliamp hour battery and and you can also just connect it uh straight with a usb thingamajig uh you can record to an sd card or you can record to a usb flash drive it records 1080p video up to 60 frames per second um and you know it, it, it it's got a little headphone jack which doesn't work very well and if everything worked fine i would absolutely love this little thing it, it cost me i think i i paid 200 bucks for this uh and again the the idea is that it you know hdmi hdmi video comes into it you can see it on the little screen and then uh, you can record it and that's pretty cool except that it's not uh, it, it's pretty cool when it works you know when this thing works i absolutely love it for 200 bucks uh, th these type of devices like i mentioned on another video they're usually a lot more expensive uh, so for 200 bucks, being able to, to record your HDMI footage uh, on this thing, it's cool. Ten, like I said, it records 1080p. My last video that I uploaded before this one uh, was recorded on this thing. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the, the whole idea of these external recorders is that they usually allow you to record better footage than your phone and your uh, cameras uh, especially because cameras tend to have like a 30 minute limit there used to be i don't know if that's still a thing but there used to be this whole thing where if cameras recorded 30 minutes or longer then they would have to be classified as camcorders and for whatever reason probably money uh companies didn't want that so they they would go ahead and and put a limit of like 29 minutes on a camera so that so that it could be classified as a camera and not a camcord um i guess taxes were more i don't know but with with these devices you you would be able to actually record from the hdmi and you know be able to record longer and avoid that the reason why i got this is because you know like i i mentioned i use this a10 mini in order to in order to uh to do these almost live edited things which one day i'll get better at but uh you know the, the little uh black magic recorder the atom mini doesn't have a, a a way to record so one of these is needed you could hook it up to a computer but i'm trying to do a little setup over here where it's like computer free uh so yeah so anyway this thing like i said when it records it's great 
the, the issues that I've had is that uh, too often, too many times already, I recorded a video and uh, when I went to check out the video, uh, it, it, it was not good. <laughs> like the, there would be a moment, like it would start perfect. And then there would be a moment where the, there was like a little flicker or something. And then all of a sudden my audio is completely out of sync. So, you know, the whole idea of doing this whole setup over here is so that I can record a video nonstop, no editing at all, because I, I don't want to be editing these videos. And, and if, if I'm going to have to go into an editor and try to figure out, match the audio to my video with just audio, by the way, because, you know, if normally when you match audio to a video, you have the, the original audio from the video, you just have better audio to match to it. But without anything, it, it's, it's too much work. So, so yeah, as much as I love this little device, uh, I cannot recommend it when it's doing that. Now, I did try, um, you know, I, I have a fairly fast uh, SD card, so I don't think it's, it's the speed on the SD card. Also, because when it records fine, it records fine. So I really don't think it's the SD card. I formatted the SD card. I, I tried recording to a USB instead. Uh, and that didn't work either like I had issues there also so uh, You know the the device like I mentioned it's got the the RCA Adapter so that it's probably in here somewhere uh, You know the the little Composite uh, cables the yellow red and, and, and white so I think one of the big ideas with, with this specific device is that you would be able to to record your home movies and stuff like that which is great again when it works <laughs> like I, I i a couple of years ago i recorded a bunch of my home movies and and it was a pain because you know there's there's no way of doing it faster you literally have to push play on the on the vcr and just wait it out you know um i mean i would you know set it up and and go to sleep and then check it out in the morning but <laughs> but that that's kind of what you have to do so it would really suck for you to you know do a, a couple of hours of a home movie and then find out after a couple of hours went by that your video started playing fine and then at some point there was something that happened and now your audio is all wrong and and that's just not cool you know <laughs> Uh, so again, as much as I like this little device, it's going to have to go back to Amazon because I can't, I can't recommend this clear click. Um, not, 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 not even sure what to tell you that it's called the clear kit HD video capture, I guess. Uh, not even on the Amazon page did I see a real name for it. That could very well be the name, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, right now I am recording this using my new uh, device, which I didn't want to spend money on this, but I did eventually get me a Ninja uh, Atomos Ninja 5. Uh, when you see me looking over here, I'm not looking at this, I'm looking at the monitor over here that shows me. <laughs> what, what you guys are looking at but yeah the Atomos Ninja 5 uh, I wanted to do an unboxing of this but then I wanted to be able to record it <laughs> uh, with a device that's not gonna screw me over so <laughs> so I couldn't do an unboxing but uh, at some point I'll make a video about the Atomos 5 if you uh, uh, Ninja 5 if you guys are interested it is a lot more expensive than this. Uh, the Atomos Ninja 5 cost me seven, 700. Um, but I plan on using this a lot for, for videos here, as well as stuff that we're planning on doing at church. So, and the podcasts that I do, I wanna start doing more live editing of those and, and put them here. So, yeah, I think overall it, it'll, it'll be, it's expensive, but it'll be worth it, I think. I hope. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah let me know if you guys care to 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 know about the atomos uh ninja 5 uh, but yeah the clear click hd video capture yeah i can't recommend it maybe, maybe they'll fix it but as of right now it, it's going back all right that is all i have for you guys today i'm gonna get out of here i hope you all take care uh, again, let me know if you have any questions. Please remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Stuff Networks. And I, I'm always about to say at Real Stuff HD, but I changed that. Uh, and yeah, StuffHD.com for, for more information. I'm out. You all take care. Bye.